we caught up with Commonwealth medalist Mike Grundy as he prepares for his second professional fight at Bama 17. Grundy will be eager to stay undefeated in his MMA career when he meets the submission specialist Michael Cutting. The featherweight prospects will finally step into the cage December 6th at the Victoria Warehouse in Manchester. Hello. Hi, I'm Mike. It's Connor here from Kingdom MMA. How are you? Hey, mate. Yeah. Hey, I'm good, thank you. Mike, we appreciate good. you taking the time to speak to us today. Lots to talk about no with your upcoming fight on December the 6th at Bama 17. First of all, you're coming off a very impressive win over Ant Phillips. What did it mean to you to kick off your professional MMA career with a dominant victory like that? Uh, it meant quite a lot, obviously, to fight on Bama, which is a big show. So, um, it was nice to fight on Bama for the first fight. Hmm. And confidence must have been higher than ever following that win. How long did you take to celebrate the win before you were back working in the gym? Um, I took off a few days just to sort out a few things in my own gym. And mm. then I was straight back training, really. So what did you have to sort out so, in your own gym? Sorry? What did you have to sort out in your own gym? No, just about to um, sort out a few things. Because obviously we've got a team car one in Wigan and the wrestling club in Wigan as well. So oh, right. I took a, took a couple of days like, to sort out a couple of things. And then um, get a... Like we've got, I coach kids as well on a regular basis, so... Mm. So now the professional debut is out of the way. What's the mood like going into this next fight? Do you feel more relaxed or so? Uh, I was very relaxed in my first fight, to be honest. But um, no, it's just the same as ever. I'm used to competing. I'm competing all the time. I was I'm competing all the time. Obviously, I've done the games and I've done a lot of competing and wrestling. So mm. I'm quite confident and quite comfortable competing. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the same every fight. Every fight is the same mm. for me. Now let's talk about that upcoming fight with Michael Cutting at Bama 17. First off, we're getting close to the fight night, so preparations yep. will be coming to an end this week. How has the training camp been for this fight? Uh, training's been fantastic. I've been doing a little bit of extra with my coach, and um, like I, I was showcasing some new skills, and, and like I said, the training's been really good. Thank you, Neville. How much did you know about your opponent when you were offered the fight? Uh, I kind of let my coach deal with it. He knows me personally, he knows me how I fight, and knows my style, and... Um, you know, my coach just kind of comes to me and tells me who and, who and when I'm fighting and then I take it. So you didn't particularly call out Michael Cutting for that fight? No. No. Now, you've had time to study his skill set. How do you think you match up stylistically with Michael Cutting? <coughs> uh, I don't know too much about him, to be honest. Um, mm. I know he's, he, he's, meant, he's got a lot of finishes on the ground, I think. Mm. Um, but, I mean, I'm rolling with decent lads every day on the ground. Um, so I'm quite confident on the ground, so I wouldn't mind that. Style, it could be a good fight, could I don't know, I don't mind, like I say, I'll, I'll finish the fight wherever it takes. Mm. takes it. So you say about the ground skills there, do you think that's the most dangerous facet that he brings inside the cage? Uh, maybe, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> like I say, I'm not, I just concentrate on what I'm going to do, to be honest. Right. So going from Ant Phillips up to Michael Cutting, do you feel like you're taking a step up in competition, or do you feel like you're going to have a tougher task this time around? Um, I mean, every fight, every fight, um, like I say, every fight, I, I see every fight as the same, really, no matter what the record is or what the credentials are. Um, mm -hmm. Like I say, I concentrate on what I'm going to do, but no, I think it's probably pretty similar, you know, Ant Phillips was quite experienced, and um, I think Mike Cutting's quite experienced, he's, got, he's had more fights than me pro level, mm. so it's probably pretty similar, to be honest. All right, well, an interesting fact about you, obviously, is that you were a medalist at the Commonwealth Games for Great Britain's wrestling team, and naturally that plays into your fighting style. Do you feel like you have an advantage over a lot of UK-based fighters, because obviously wrestling isn't as popular here in the UK, so the average skill level is a lot lower than yours? Yeah, I mean, obviously going into any, any fight that, um, that I have, um, especially in the UK, I do feel, you know, um, I do have a much more... I'm much more well-rounded in the wrestling area than the grappling area. Obviously, due to me doing it since I was six years old and, mm. and obviously competing at the highest level, not just in this country, in the world. You know, I've, I've been I've competed in America, I've competed in World Championships and Commonwealth Games and I've been on the Olympic team and stuff. So, obviously, that does probably go into my fight. Mm. And as a mixed martial artist, you obviously don't want to be car categorised as just a wrestler. Do you feel like you're gradually becoming a more well-rounded fighter over time? Yeah, I definitely do. Yeah, I mean, I feel I'm at the best club in, in, in the world, from, in my opinion. And Team Cabon and my coach is um, absolutely brilliant. He's 
obviously from the tie back game, but to be honest, I learned so much off him on the ground and in tie boxing, and, and even putting my wrestling to, to, into my tie, into my um, stand up as well. So I'm getting much more well rounded now, working with, with, with my coach a little bit more. Hmm. Like I said, Colin yeah, like I said, wrestling is your background, but as I'm sure you know, Michael's five victories have all come by way of submission. So are you going to feel comfortable taking it to the ground on fight night, given his jiu-jitsu skills? Yeah, well, like I said, wherever it goes, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't mind. I, I don't even want to take it to the ground. If it comes, I'll take it. If it doesn't, I won't, you know. Mm. But if it does go to the ground, I'm sure I'll be comfortable. Now, if all goes to plan on fight night, is there any particular goals you have you want to accomplish moving forward past Michael Cutting? Um, yeah, I do have goals, you know. I mean, and, and my goal is I want to get, I want to make it to the top. And obviously, Bama is, is the top in this country. And you know, I want to work my way up and then see what happens from there, really. But you know, one fight at a time for me. Mm. So, what's your opinion on Bama's featherweight division at the moment? How do you feel you rank alongside the division best fighters? I've not really watched too many of them, to be honest. Um, like I said, I just, I just take one fight at a time and, see, and he, like I say, whoever comes after this, then I'll, I'll, I'll have a watch of them and see what kind of level they're at. But, um, you know, like I say, I get a lot of my confidence from training and who I'm training with. And, you know, I think I would fare pretty well with any featherweight, to be honest, in this country. Mm. Now, without giving away a game plan, obviously, can you give us a prediction for Saturday night? How do you see the fight playing out? I mean, I, I don't want, like I said, I don't want to give too much away, but I will showcase a few skills and, and like wherever it's going to go, uh, I will finish. I will finish the fight. All right, Mike. Well, before we let you go, is there anything you'd like to add, or do you have a message for Michael Cutting ahead of your fight? Uh, no, no message. Is that I ain't that kind of guy. You know, I'm pretty right. humble and, and, and I stay quiet and just do what I have to do in the cage. But no, I'm just excited to fight, and that's how I, that's how I do. I love to compete, and that's my game. And, and when I'm excited, that's when I come that's the form of the best. All right, Mike. Well, on behalf of Kingdom MMA, I'd like to say thanks again for your time. We wish you all the best of luck with the rest of your preparations, and we look forward to seeing you on December the 6th. Thank you very much.